What's up OGs? Hong Nien here, your boy for OG Fitness. And in today's video, I want to talk about my three tips, hacks, okay, to lose weight 2019. Okay, so before I get started, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If this is your first time, thank you very much for joining. And here at OG Fitness, what we talk about, or what I talk about, and of course, all the other guys too, like in the, in, in the community, in the comments, well, fitness, martial arts, for older dudes. And that's what the OG stands for. It could also stand for, you know, what OG normally stands for. And even if you're young, if you have OG knowledge and you're in this community, you might as well be an OG too. Okay, so let's get into it. now. These are my three hacks, nutritional hacks to lose weight, right? It doesn't have to do with exercise. So the first thing, okay, that I do is that I just don't, oh, sorry, that was the second one. Okay, so the first one is don't eat processed foods, okay? If you could just stay away from anything that's processed, I know it's hard, I know it's hard, it's not easy, but that's going to help tremendously. And what do I mean by processed food? Well, look at the ingredients. Normally, if you buy an apple, it's not going to be written like ingredients because, well, it's an apple. There's, it's an apple. You'll see the nutritional value, you know, like how much uh, fat, sugar, fiber, and all that crap. But you're not going to see any ingredients because it's an apple. So that is whole food. It's good for you, right? And if you buy chicken, then there shouldn't be written any ingredient inside. Like it should just be chicken, right? Now, if you're gonna buy something that has ingredients and you read the ingredients, you gotta take the time to read the ingredients. So this is the way I, I do it, right? If I read, like if, if, the, if I look at the ingredients and there's fucking this, this much shit, okay? Then holy fuck, that's highly processed, man, you know? And then if you just scan it a little bit and you see stuff that you can't even fucking pronounce or, yeah, or, or you're thinking, you're looking at that shit and you're like, man, this, is, this would take a fucking chemistry degree just to understand all this shit, then fuck, it's, it's highly processed. And most likely it's not gonna, it's not, it's not healthy for you. And so if you stay away from, from processed food, right? Highly processed food, then it's gonna help with weight loss, definitely. And by the way, guys, bread, processed, highly processed. Uh, pasta, highly processed also. Just look at, you know, like the ingredients. You guys will see. Uh, so that's, that's the first tip, first hack. That's what I do, okay? And once, oh, just a little disclaimer, guys. I'm a personal trainer and a martial artist, not a nutritionist. So this is not meant to be, you know, how do you say, it? advice that's... Um, uh, how do you say it? 100% like factual, scientific, you know, this is just general stuff that I think would benefit you guys. So, and, and of course this is what I do too. So the second hack is that, well, don't buy junk food and, and stuff that that's not good for you in the first place. Okay. Because if you have it at home, then it's, it's accessible, it's there, even, and willpower, like, eh, it wanes, you know, it works to a certain point, but then, you know, let's say you have nothing left to eat, and you're, like, too tired to get your ass up to cook or to go out and do the groceries, and you have that chocolate bar or, or whatever it is, that cake or, you know, uh, in the fridge, or you're gonna, guess what, you're gonna fucking eat it, right? So, to, for you to, like, put all the chances on your side to, like, help your uh, to not to not test your willpower all the goddamn time, just don't buy it in the first place. Now, okay, so that's the second one. The third one is really you have to have a cheat day. I know that it's like you guys are already aware of that. Like if you guys are just starting out, right? I would say at least have yourself two 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 cheat days. So maybe Saturday and Sunday. So Saturday and Sunday, you eat whatever you want to eat. Try not to go too fucking crazy, but you know, have your beer, have your this, have your that, you know, eat, eat whatever you want. And then maybe Monday to Friday, uh, you know, eat really, really clean, right? And work out and stuff. So 
here's the thing. Um, eventually, you like to go get to maybe one day, one cheat day uh, a week. You know, maybe a Saturday or a Sunday. And if ever you really want to see results, and if ever you you feel that you know you just get tired, like every time you have that cheat day, you don't feel good and you don't like it because now you're used to being healthy and feeling good like six days a week and just that one day where you eat like crap, you feel shit, well just fucking cut it out, that's all, you know? But this is just a way to like taper yourself off of the, uh, off of the junk food. So now, that's the second one, okay? So don't, um, was that the second one? Sorry, the third one. And one thing, this is like a bonus hack right to tie in uh the fact that if you if the second one and the third one so the second tip was don't don't buy junk food in, don't buy junk in the first place but then i'm saying you could cheat on you know on on your cheat day now if you if you don't go out like let's say some people will go out on their cheat day and go to a restaurant and eat whatever they want right but what if you just want to like buy some food and bring it home well, here's the thing. The bonus tip is that whatever you buy, you got to either finish it or throw it out when the cheat days are done, right? So you can start your week off fresh. So that's going to, either you're going to eat too much junk food and you're going to feel sick and then, you know, you'll buy less next week or you'll have to throw it out. So you're, and then you throw it out and then you're going to feel really bad because you're old. You could just give it to somebody. But even when you give it to somebody, it's like, ah, you just spent money and you gave it away, right? So that's the idea. So that's how you, I would tie it together, right? For the for the second tip and the third tip is basically just get rid of that junk food that you still have or eat the whole thing, right? Like uh, in your cheat day, eat the whole thing and that's it. And that, after that, Monday to, 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 um, Monday to Friday, stay clean. And of course, like let's say you know, it doesn't have to be Saturday and Sunday you cheat day. It could be Friday and Saturday, and then Sunday you you start your week there, right? You could do you could structure it the way you want. It doesn't matter. What I'm saying is that what's important is that how you eat 90% of the time. If you eat clean 90% of the time and 10% you splurge, mind you, two days a week is more than 10%. Like, but you know, I'm just giving you guys uh, numbers here. It's really up to you to to adjust this then you're going to be good, man. You're going to be good. And then over time, if you, if you really get tired of, if, you, if your body is really sensitive to, to the junk food and to the crap that you're eating on, um, on your cheat days, then maybe slowly cut, cut that down too until maybe eventually you don't even really have a cheat day or you might just have one cheat day a month when you, when you go grocery shopping and you see something that you used to eat that you really enjoyed and you know, like, Hey, knock yourself out. But the important thing is really to 90% of the time, you know, if not more. Okay. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope those three tips were useful. They, that's what I do. So it's, uh, it's pretty useful to me. Um, well, I consider myself a very good shape. You know, so that's it. And like my video, please comment down below. What do you think? Agree, disagree? Let me know why. Elaborate on that. Of course, sharing is caring. So share the video. And of course, click on the notification bell. Multiple videos a week. Thank you very much, guys. And once again, happy 2019. Peace.